BattleBit has some of the most inconsistent scoreboard fluctuations that I've seen in any sort of multiplayer FPS. Sometimes you're struggling to achieve a positive KDR and other times you're 96 and 6. But how many players with scores like these are legitimate players and how many of them are actually using cheats? Well, a recent Reddit post titled FYI How to Spot Cheaters got a ton of attention on the BattleBit subreddit, and in it, the original poster talks about how to identify cheaters in BattleBit. The meat of it reads as follows. For those that don't know, you can spectate a player, but it only seems to work when you're dead and looking at the map. Just hit tab, then right click a player and hit spectate. So far, I've done it to every top player that has an insane kill-death ratio, and almost every time they are clearly using an aimbot. They don't even hide it. Most of the time, the player's movement and game style is piss poor, but you can see them cycling through players on the map, even behind walls. Their aim just snaps. And personally, I've been pretty curious about what percentage of players in BattleBit are using cheats, whether it's just subtle wall hacks or full on aim snapping headshotting cheats. I was really curious, so I decided to run with this premise and load into games and spectate any top player with a high KDR to see if in fact it was that easy to spot cheaters. And what I found was pretty interesting, but I think we need to preface this, this experiment a bit more before we get into the results. Now, from my experience with reviewing footage or spectating players in the past, I know that spotting cheaters in games can be extremely difficult if they're hiding it well, and it usually takes a decently skilled player to even understand what is and isn't reasonable gameplay. Take Counter-Strike's Overwatch system, which allows players to review gameplay of other players to determine if they're cheating. It's a great example of a player-run cheat detection in that it only allows highly skilled players to conduct reviews. Anyone can report a suspicious player, but only designated investigators can review those reports and validate or invalidate them. And from playing thousands of hours of multiplayer first-person games, I've seen too many false accusations to simply take people's word on cheaters anymore. With Battlefield 4's player-run servers, we had what were known as badmins, basically server admins that would ban people who they thought were cheating based on their opinion alone. And I ended up getting banned from a huge percentage of the available Battlefield 4 servers because of this. The system just wasn't good for determining whether or not somebody was cheating because there wasn't a skill requirement to become a server admin, nor a multiple person review system. It was basically just one guy with his finger on the ban button. Now, BattleBits reporting system is fairly impressive. When you report a player, they're not immediately banned, but when you observe a player on the scoreboard, you can actually see how many reports they have against them. This can be a great way to, at a glance, see if other players are feeling like they've been killed by this player in a suspicious way, and you can even report things like exploiting. BattleBits multiplayer report system is far more reliable than an admin's hunch, especially since the reason for someone's high KDR on the scoreboard might not be immediately clear. For example, in the round where I went 96 and 6, I happened to get many of those kills from a BTR. I just had a lot of right place at the right time moments and was able to farm infantry kills at city choke points. However, my BTR was eventually destroyed and had somebody spectated me at that point, they would have just seen me running around as a medic and maybe not understood how I had so many kills, which could easily lead to getting reported by somebody unaware that most of my kills came from operating a vehicle. Now, BattleBit does run easy anti-cheat, and the devs are even currently working on face-it anti-cheat integration to allow for better anti-cheat solutions. But there are, without question, cheaters in BattleBit. You can see them getting banned in real time in the global ban feed while you're in-game, and most players have probably observed at least one or two legitimate instances of cheating. I've seen a player that was running around reviving people instantly, and I've also seen at least two other players who whose gameplay seemed to showcase kind of noobish type behaviors, but with lightning fast reflexes that the Reddit poster is pretty much talking about. Bad players with cranked up cheats is probably the easiest type of cheater to spot. 
It's the cheaters who are already decent players who use stuff like wall hacks or subtle aimbots that can be almost impossible for people to detect. Now, I hopped into round after round of BattleBit, having fun and keeping an eye on the top scoring players. However, very few of them had the crazy KDRs that I had seen a lot more of when Battlefield first launched, and it's possible that many of these players with the extreme KDRs who are blatantly cheating may have already been banned from the game, so they're just less common. But after spectating for several days, both the top players and anyone else who seemed to get like a weird kill on me, I didn't observe anyone who I felt was without a doubt cheating. In fact, there was very little suspicious behavior in general. It doesn't mean that there weren't players cheating, but at least they weren't blatantly cheating. There were a few times where maybe somebody could have been wall hacking, but it just really wasn't obvious. Like kind of looking at where somebody should be and then peeking up from behind cover and taking a shot at them. And honestly, thinking about it, once any player turns on sort of fast snap cheats where you're instantly killing anybody in line of sight, it would be painfully obvious in a game with 254 player servers. Likely anyone being extremely obvious about it gets multiple reports during the game and then probably banned shortly thereafter. I did, however, spectate a player who had mass reports of exploiting. It didn't really say what his specific exploits were, but I could see that people reported him multiple times for it, and I'm not really sure what BattleBits take is on this type of behavior. Like if someone intentionally glitches into the map or something to get kills, do they get a permaban or do they just get like a warning not to do it again? Now, after observing the top players for a while, I found it mostly just kind of disappointing to see what kind of gameplay gets you on top of the scoreboard. Basically playing like it's Call of Duty, sprinting around, quickly using a fast firing AR, diving and basically playing in a manner that seems, well, opposite to the slow reloading, mag consolidating, bandage applying shooter that BattleBit seems like it's trying to be. And I've felt this too, where when I play with the Vector I find it almost easy at times to hang out at the top of the scoreboard while I parkour around a city dropping in on players as opposed to the more methodical cover based pushes and teamwork approach. I believe the devs have plans to better differentiate hardcore play styles and the more arcadey nature of BattleBit, but at the moment it's all kind of mixed together. Nonetheless, BattleBit continues to impress in that any indie shooter that explodes in popularity usually falls victim to completely out of control cheats and it can often kill those indie titles flat out. But BattleBit actually anticipated a lot of this and has systems in place to mostly prevent it and even has face it and player run servers coming in the near future which will bring additional layers of protection. Certainly they won't be able to stop all cheats just as no AAA studio seems to be able to achieve that feat but the fact that I don't feel like I'm getting dominated by cheaters is a great sign. And obviously this is my personal experience and that gameplay experience may vary in different regions or perhaps during different ban waves. I'd be curious to know in the comments how you you've perceived the overall state of cheating in BattleBit, and if it's gotten in your way of having fun or if you don't think you've ever run into a cheater. Next up, check out this in-depth scoring guide to BattleBit where we talk about all the different ways to get XP in the game and how much it's worth. As always guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.